Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. My name is Melissa Morrell and I'm a personal stylist for the Everyday Woman and Claire is back with me today. Hello. <laughs> I've dragged her kicking and screaming. She is going to appear at least once a month because I know you all really like seeing her. And I think the benefit of seeing us both together is Claire is roughly a UK size 14. Yes. And five foot, five foot seven. Five foot seven. And I am five foot three and a UK eight to ten. So it, hopefully it's going to be good today because you can see the comparisons. So today's video is. Uh, a bit of kind of modern workwear and smart casual, um, your smart casual wardrobe and the versatility yeah. involved as well. So how you can mix and match it a bit as well. Exactly. Claire has done an amazing job at sourcing an entire, we've got big six foot rail here of options for you. Too much. It's, we haven't got too much. So what we're going to do today is show you things that work and things that don't work in terms of where we see our clients making the mistakes. Now, everything is linked for you. Go to the description box, which plays underneath the video. Sometimes you have to press the word more and it will appear for you. Press on that link and it will take you to a board where you will see every single item that we have shown today. If those items are out of stock, then we always suggest similar ones. So just scroll further down on the page. So I think that's about it. So let's get started. Okay, so what have we got on, Claire? Talk us through it. We've both got on a nice kind of flowing pair of wide leg trousers. Melissa is wearing the current season me and M ones with yeah. this lovely kind of white stripe down side. Now the benefit, I'll just interrupt there, because the benefit of this white stripe is that it's actually on a slight diagonal here. So given that both Claire and I are slightly bigger around our bottom and thighs than we are here on top, this diagonal is going to make me look smaller across this thigh area. So a really, really good one if you feel a bit heavier here. The vertical line will also do the same. Whereas Claire's just got the plain ones on. So these ones are the Marks and Spencer ones. Um, I'm actually wearing a 12. I do normally wear a 14 in Marks and Spencers, but because they're widest across the hip, um, I can afford to go a size down because my waist is smaller as well. Yeah. Nice, elasticated, comfortable both, waist. Yep, yeah, so both, both of us. <laughs> we've, we've got to that age now where we need <laughs> comfortable waistbands. But as well though, so I couldn't wear my Levi's on online calls all day. Yes. My stomach would be yeah, at the end of it. Yes, you know, yes. Really so so try and think practically like that with your clothes. I've got them on with a little bit of a heel just to show some versatility really and as you can see we've both got them on with these quite pretty blouses. So the advantage of these blouses for both of us is that it's, it's got extra shoulder details. So all of this ruffling here, the ruffling on Claire there, it all adds volume. And we need to add volume because we've added volume to our bottom half. So remember, we're always trying to put our shape back into an hourglass shape. So we have gone a slightly wider on the bottom, which means we need to go even wider on the top to balance ourselves out, okay? And also importantly, we've tucked it in because yeah. if we didn't tuck it in, you know, then we're there we go. It's completely shapeless. And that's what we see a lot of. And there you're just going to make yourself look very brick-like all the way down. I know a lot of you that have a tummy don't believe that you can tuck in, but hopefully now you've seen a lot of my Body Shape Masterclasses where I dress people live on this channel who have proper tummies. We did one lady with a big apron tummy. We yeah. still tucked yeah. in. And another little trick is to create like an up down upside down smile. Yeah, I would like say a frown, like a trout, yeah. not a trout pout. A trout pout, a, a fish mouth. <laughs> I don't know. Not a trout pout. You don't want a trout pout. Not here. <laughs> okay, so this is exactly what not to wear. Can you see the difference in the fabric here? This one is too tight. It doesn't flow. This one flows over the bust line. 
it enables us to pull it out and the, the overhang there to create this sort of up and down, this frown really, which is going to help shape around the belly area. This is doing none of that. It's just too tight. It's old fashioned. It's it's even gone a little bit of an off-white colour. A white oh, shirt can do that, look yeah. quite shabby, quite quick. Quite quickly, yeah. and that's exactly what this is doing. Okay, so just to show you how we've slightly changed the same pair of wide leg trousers up, I've swapped mine for the gorgeous Air and Grace trainers. I will show you a close-up on those. You've got Air and Graces as well, haven't you? Yes. Very, very, very comfortable. Yeah, very, very comfortable. Got a really nice platform on as well. Really good version of that kind of elevated trainer that we talk about a lot. So yes. not just your kind of white runner, it's a kind of premium white leather trainer that looks a bit smarter. Yeah. And just adding this pop of colour. Both colours really we've seen a lot, aren't we, at the moment this yeah. season? Yeah. And also just remember what we teach about a capsule wardrobe is that 80-90% of your wardrobe needs to be basics, normal, everyday colours, your navies, your whites, your beiges. Yeah. This is 10, 20% of colour pop. It's no more than that. If you have a wardrobe full of orange trousers, green trousers, pink trousers, red tops, none of patterns, it's going to go. Yeah, patterns as well. As well. Keep your patterns to, look, I've got a little bit of a pop of stripe there in. Maybe. It actually makes a big difference as well. If you kind of lose that little yes, layer. Yeah, in fact, let's lose that layer for a nice. second. Yeah, nice, but it just kind of loses something, doesn't it? Yeah. And it's the same as well with Claire on her sleeves there. Okay, can you see that difference yeah. now? So it really does make a difference. It's a bit less considered and a bit less put together. That's I hear a, that word a lot, actually. That's a really nice way of saying it. It's a little bit less considered. Because the white coordinates with the shoe as well. I think it wouldn't work so well. Yeah. And that's another one of our rules that we teach at the Styling Academy where we teach others how to become personal stylists. Okay, so the concept of everyone needs a friend in styling refers to the fact that you should try and wear two items of any one colour at any one time. So, the white trainers, the little bit of white hint here in the top, the white trainers, the little bit of white there. Just two items will always help draw it together. So a nice navy bag, yeah. cross bag would look really nice, wouldn't it? So for example, if we put that over like that, that is not only going to bring in the concept of two items of the same colour because it's matching in with the trousers, but it's also got the advantage of creating a line across this block colour. Now this is something that a lot of people need if you've got a big bus line. So both me and Claire aren't particularly well endowed, no. so it doesn't matter so much for us. <laughs> but if, if I was out here, for example, you can see how more block-like I would look, on, look in that situation. So what I would do is grab a, a cross bag there and halve that area up and it would look a lot better so yeah there sometimes we go. that wider strap is quite a nice thing to look out for as well because yeah. it's just more impactful i guess if yeah you want, if you need that cross and it's also the hardware here the sort of gold there is bringing all the colors in it's bringing in the gold jewelry there so if you are a gold wearer try and find a bag that's got gold hardware on as opposed to the silver hot hardware Again, it just helps to bring everything together. Thinking about as well, another, and point. another point. Another one. <laughs> uh, thinking about where the bag sits on you, because actually, when I first picked yeah. up this bag, it was longer and it was sitting on my hip, which for me made me feel too, too hippy, because I'm hippy anyway. So up here just feels a nicer length for me. Yeah. Um, this look would also be finished off really nice with a blazer or a long coat. Yeah. Okay, so just why Claire is getting um, ready, I just thought I would show you this little outfit that we've just put together. And in particular, I wanted to show you these sort of vests that you can throw over a shirt. Now, in my experience, when you put this type of vest over a thicker white shirt, that's quite a crisp shirt, then it all sort of wrinkles under the vest and it makes you feel very bulky. So you can do two things actually. One, change your shirt for more of a nicer flowing one like I've done with this one. Or you can put a vest over your white shirt 
then put the tank top on and that vest means that the white shirt will stick closer to your body. That was in one of my videos a long time ago now. I will put the link up, but it was like a styling mistake type of video. But anyway, just to show you, so all we've done here is put on a little pointed kitten heel, a nude to make that leg look longer. Matched up a really lovely bag from Marks and Spencers show you a close-up on that it's got a navy detail in that which is lovely because even though it's navy and I've got black trousers on that allows that's your friend that we were talking about earlier on it allows the two items to come together and just to show you as well that I wouldn't stop there I would then put my blazer on there you go and then you've got a bit of warmth but without the bulk on your arms underneath the blazer so this type of woolly vest can really work well okay so suit time suits are everywhere at the moment they went through a huge phase of being really old-fashioned and never coordinating together but right now they're back in again but it's really important that you style them in the right way so what we what we're doing here so we, you have got the me and M suit on, which I is have. beautiful. This is really beautiful. It's a wool suit, but the wool is relatively thin that it drapes so beautifully. So it's not like a heavy, thick wool. And you could definitely wear it into spring, summer as well. It's light enough. Most definitely. Yeah. I'm wearing a size 10 in the jacket, which I feel is about the right size for me. But I'm wearing the size 10 in the trousers and they're just that little bit too big. So I probably would be sizing down to a size eight in them. And I've just got them on with a Converse at the moment. And I think wearing a white fresh trainer like this is half the trick to making the suit work. And Claire has got on. So this is the current season M&S one. A really lovely shape again, nice kind of wide leg, heavy drapey trousers and um, a nice cut blazer, kind of really lovely. A little bit of shaping here as well. Yeah, and as we mentioned before, this is like a colour of the season. You've got the air and grace I've got the on. air and grace trainers on, again, with a little platform allowing me to wear the longer length in the trousers. And these trousers are good for me because they have this little if bit just of back. So that has got a pull tie there so she can pull herself in at the waist. Great if you are like us and we have smaller waist but thicker thighs. It allows us to create some shape around that waist area. So, yeah, we're both loving these suits and I would see myself getting a lot of wear out of these by just putting this with a jumper, wearing them in the daytime. Something simple, I think that's the key. The yes. white t-shirt, the white shirt, a yes. simple knit. Okay, so this is the big, this is where you're going to see the crosses. <laughs> um... Look, we do see this a lot, don't we, unfortunately? Yeah. We're not feeling particularly comfortable standing like this. So, where are we going wrong? Well, I think a lot of people have these pattern tops in their wardrobe, and I used mm -hmm. to as well, and I think it's that, it's that inner magpie in us that think, oh, that's a lovely top, and then yeah. you bring it home, and the reality is it doesn't go with a lot of items. And it dates very quickly. Exactly. Um, and this top, you know, although it does pick up some of the colours and it's coordinated, it just doesn't look as elevated or chic or modern no. um, as the alternatives we showed before. Yeah, it looks very and, dated. Um, so avoid patterns like this. If you're going to go for a pattern, go for a stripe. Maybe a check. Sometimes it, a leopard, I think. Yes, a leopard print or an animal, or an animal print. Can, can So more of a subtle texture print. Uh, yeah sometimes not like a big floral like this because it will date so the shoes they're too dark for the outfit and we see black shoes put with coloured outfits like this all the time and even worse on me is I have got the chunky lo loafers which in themselves are really lovely we're going to show how they work really nice with a crop trouser later on but here with a wider baggier trouser that like I mentioned earlier on these are too big for me anyway so they're not giving me much shape at the moment so you've just got no shape you've got a very workman-like look down there at the bottom this is 
this top's just not doing anything for me it's a cheap fabric the v-neck would be fine but the combination of the v-neck and the sleeves cut like that is just making it look very unfeminine and very bulky on my frame so it's just doing absolutely nothing so i think we're quite keen to get out of these so, shall yeah, we let's get back let's to some good stuff <laughs> some, some, some proper styling where we look half decent <laughs> okay so what are we wearing here then so I've got my faux leather trousers on, um, slightly cropped at the ankle with uh, this nice kind of textured blazer from MS, really good value blazer, goes with lots of things. And, and I've just paired it with the white t-shirt and the white sneakers. So a little bit elevated and a little bit casual. And I have gone for just a slightly more elevated look with a real leather, but they don't need to be real leather at all ankle cropped again and at the moment I've got them on with the little kitten heel but I'll put a picture up at the side of me where I had them on with trainers and that worked really really well as well um, green jump it's got the same gold button so that's going to help broaden out at my shoulder area I'm poking my little collar out here and around the wrists the bag brilliant find here by Claire it is 69 pounds it's in a black as well it's a great yeah. bag and it's got a huge inside zipped pocket as well as then several other pockets as well don't know how well that's picking up on camera for you but that's lovely just to bring in if you are wearing tops of white or nude then that sort of bag just brings everything together really really nicely so yeah just a nice way to do smart casual really this is going to make a huge difference as well to the styling if you, if you want to just tuck that away a second there we go you can see how straight away you lose that you lose the styling element that's what you yeah, lose, you isn't lose it? your personality a bit as well, don't yeah, you? And yeah. that kind of pull together that little yeah, touch. Yeah, that's a nice way of saying it. You lose the personality. So yeah, um, let's move on to the this next. This is one. an Anning Bing blazer. Again, it is a higher point um, blazer. But if you are looking to invest, it's absolutely beautiful. It is cut really lovely. And you think it's because of the lapels coming down to completely. the completely. I always look at that. Place. If that lapel finishes at your waist very flattering and this kind of nice narrow lapel as well just works really well i find being slimming. black it can be quite overpowering on me so i would always push the sleeves up put my little bands in here so the sleeve yeah. stays up there permanently i'd pull I whatever lift the black so yeah, the stripe or the white. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That jumper would go really nicely under it. And at the moment, I've just got it paired with a pointed flat. These ones are from Bowden. They are lovely. They're really but beautiful. Yeah, they really are very, very nice. But the last time I showed them, somebody has said that they had sold out. But we have found you a very, very similar alternative. But I will link both as well. And actually, I think it's those. But Bowden have got a leopard version of them. Yes, so, you're which right. Which would be really lovely as well with this outfit. Yeah. Keep taking the leopard as a neutral. Nice with this as well. Nice so with that as well, definitely. Another way to add a bit of personality. Right, have we got Claire's head in? Yes, it looks like, <laughs> looks like I it. I can't actually see because there's this big <laughs> ring of light around the camera that you can't see and I can't <laughs> yeah, I was like, it's not actually as easy as it looks to film a YouTube, especially when you've got two different heights like this. The camera is so far back that we look through like this little hole, and then she's much taller than me, so especially when she's got heels on. But anyway, back to the styling. Okay, beautiful. L love this. Uh, very hard, I think, to find a nice skirt and one that's versatile, but this is um, a leather wrap skirt it's a faux leather faux from leather. mango uh, i think it's about 45 pounds and then i've teamed it with these lovely um knee-high boots from phase eight really really comfortable um good heel and a nice pointed toe yeah um, although what i would say is it is a pointed toe but it's slightly rounded as well yes. so, so it's not uncomfortable yeah, yeah so for those of you who say you can't wear a pointed for various feet reason it's slightly rounded 
and the heel is a really good size. It's a little bit more than a kitten heel, but it's probably about two inches. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, yeah two, two inches, inches, something yeah. like that. And it's quite wide around the calf area as well. So they are a really, really good book buy. And they are good on the calf because I have a bigger calf. And my yes. calf is uh, <laughs> expanded today as well. <laughs> She's swelling under the heat at the moment. So her jeans won't fit her around the calf at the moment. Today. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so they're definitely good around the calf area. And um, you said they came in the brown? They as well? do come in a brown as well. Yeah, yeah. So it more, so, like, yeah. more this, like that kind yeah, of colour. Yeah, so this colour. Really versatile, great with prints, um, yeah. navy, things like that. Really nice. And then we just put it with this lovely um, boiled wool knit. Really beautiful, kind of creates a different texture, um, almost like a woven texture, and then they're knitted cuff. Um, feels lovely to wear, nice and airy, and a nice you know, a nice new silhouette knit. Team with this absolutely beautiful I'm loving coat. This coat. Um, I've just noticed there, even the detail there, see that little bit of red stitching? Yeah. It just goes to show, it's things like that that make things look a little bit more premium. And um, I think we mentioned before, but that one's actually in the sale as well. Just beautifully cut. Really nice. Okay, and I have got on the uh, navy jumper with the gold on. We've also got that in the green. I'm not sure if we've shown that yet. I'm losing track. This is actually an old skirt of mine. So where Claire is wearing the rack style there, this is just a pencil style. I must have had this probably 10 years. Being in this really buttery soft leather and the colour the tan I could bring it out every year and it just won't date real classic. real classic what does change is how I wear it so right now I've got it with a slightly oversized jumper and that's especially relevant when I've got a heel if I was just to put a heel a leather skirt and then maybe a silk blouse then that would look beautiful if I was in a lawyer's office or something like that. You Meghan know. Markle in suits. Exactly. But the reality for most of us where it's just smart casual to work, then the jumper pairs better with the heels than a blouse would. Yeah. Okay, so we're both now wearing a super comfy trouser from Reese. Yeah. Elasticated waistband, tapered leg, so look really modern, pockets in here, Really nice, easy to wear fabric. Yeah, like a crepey twill, so just really easy care. Really, really easy care. But let me show you, she bought me, it's all her fault, <laughs> she bought me a petite in it. So I am five foot three and a little teeny bit, which means I should buy in the petite range. I've actually had to pull these trousers down because look where the petite range actually rests on my calves so that's actually going towards my highest point on uh, my widest point sorry on my calves and that's where people go wrong can you see the the difference there between where it's finishing on claire versus where it's finishing on me so if i wiggle these down which obviously wouldn't be right so i'd have to order these in a regular leg length and now that's looking a lot better and a lot less frumpy. So if we say a crop, it's not a crop, it's like that. Yeah, it's an ankle, ankle grazer. grazer. That's yeah. a better term. Ankle grazer. So that's cropped. You don't want that. You want ankle grazer like that. I've kept it really simple by just keeping this navy jumper on and the white trainers and the white top are just pulling together really lovely. Um, but watch what happens when I hide the white. <clears throat> Okay, so hopefully you can see there that you just lose it. So just that little bit of flick of white there and there makes a huge difference. I guess the gold really helps as well though, it doesn't does. it? These buttons and the jewellery, your bracelets, yeah, well, these... breaking up the solid navy. Exactly, so you don't want to go, a lot of people just talk about going head to toe black or head to toe navy, yeah. but actually when you do that, it looks very unstylish. You always need elements to break it up so you could have a belt with a gold buckle on for example the gold jewelry if you had an all black outfit on so it definitely needs break points claire however has styled it with so i've got this lovely kind of cream knit on which is a, a nice kind of v-neck from uh, this one's from the autograph range and m s it's got this lovely kind of rib detail through here um so a, a good neckline if you've got a bigger bust um 
I like this neckline too on me and then I styled it with the kind of slightly oversized blanket coat um, because actually I think this works well with the chunky black loafers as well and I love these trousers they're so comfortable they feel really elevated but it's like kind of real sports looks yeah you could easily put them with heels could Heel you heels uh, yeah. and a blazer would look really really nice but equally you could be on the floor running after your grandchildren or your children in them and it they would feel appropriate yeah yeah, yeah. i yeah. think so they're really comfortable so you can run around in them a little bit there we go a really quick elevation for you so we both just put a heel on and um, sling backs open back that type of shoe is very very on trend this season so they should be plentiful in the shop but we'll link everything and these ones are very comfortable they've got like a yeah. sponge lining in they're real leather and they're kind of that hybrid between a loafer and a sling bag yeah. the key wasn't... here is the fact that some of her skin tone here is showing yes. actually that's almost like your third or your other bit of camel it's like that's your friend that color there matches with this color yeah, here yeah. And it helps to bring all the outfit together where if she just put a solid black boot for example you it doesn't work as well doesn't it work doesn't, does yeah, it no that. so you, everything else is the same for you isn't it so but for me i have just added this long wool coat it's actually very much like the reese one i will put a photo of the reese one if i've still got it at the side I talk about a long wall coat all the time and that's what it does, it elevates that straight up. Now without the bag it looks a little bit dark all the way through so we did feel that we needed to inject a little bit of lighter colour, can you see that, to help balance the outfit up and again we're showing that little bit of white, the little bit of white on the neck and that just shows you how easy it is to go from your trainers and casual joggers to a more smarter elevated look just with the use of your outer layers and a change of shoes. Okay, so from me, an outfit I think I have shown before, but one I genuinely wear all the time, and that is a green slip dress. So it's got um, straps up here, but I always layer it over with the jumper, put with some long boots. But this dress is a new one, and it's gorgeous. All right, again, lovely, weighty, drapey fabrics. It doesn't feel like it's showing anything. Really nice. Um, the ruffles here are going to add volume to her top half because this skirt is slightly more A-line. If we've increased this area around here, we need to make sure that we also increase it here. In fact, a shoulder pad would probably work quite, I think so, yeah. quite I well, well, wouldn't it? So if I just pull that out just slightly there, and if Claire moves her arms, that's it. If I just go like that, then that shoulder is going to align up with that hip area and it'll make her gorgeous waist look even smaller. So that's probably the one addition I do. You've added this belt, haven't you? Yeah, it elevates it, adding your own belt. I think yeah, definitely. But a lovely dress, really, really nice, really easy to wear. You could layer that up with perhaps that grey and white coat would have looked really nice. Yeah, or, lovely, yeah. Yeah, and if black boots aren't your thing, then you could do it with the brown boots and then perhaps put the camel coat over as well. So that's it for today's video. We hope you found it really useful. Everything is linked for you. If you could press that subscribe button, it means an awful lot. That's the only way we can grow the channel. The more we can grow the channel, the more we can bring you regular videos as we sort of reportion our time of what we spend on YouTube versus what we spend out face to face with our clients. So thank you very much for watching and we will see you again, I think not next week, but the week after maybe, where we've got a body shape masterclass with a really slender UK size six to eight lady who walks dogs for a living. So a very, very casual, casual wardrobe we're looking to put together for her. Thank you. Bye-bye.